I'm here with Lynn Parker, Computer Arts Lecturer at Aberty University. We're in the middle of Global Game Jam. Lynn, can you tell us a bit about what's going on today? Hello everybody. Um, so we are well, almost 24 hours into a 48 hour game jam. Um, Global Game Jam happens across the world, so it's happening in 100 countries, well, over 100 countries across the world. And what happens is it's a coordinated effort. So um, people gather in venues um, in all sorts of different countries and we all work together to make games around a central theme. So each year the theme differs and this year the theme is transmission. I can tell you that now because everybody started jamming. Um, so we have until 5pm on Sunday um, and we started at 5pm on Friday uh, to make uh, computer games. Uh, so we've got um, 257 people here this year which are really excited about taking part in um, Aberty's Global Game Jam. We've done it for the last six years or so um, and this is our biggest one yet. So you can see behind me that we've got um, students and staff, we've got some of our uh, graduates and we've got industry um, members that have joined us as well uh, to make mixed teams so we've got people you know that are first year students that are working with fourth years and graduates um, to, to make games and they're making everything from um, really kind of interesting mobile games to uh, games that exist in a computer that are focused on narrative to uh, games that have all sorts of strange alternative controllers and input methods so um, we've got some students up the back that are hacking um, uh, old-fashioned controllers to, to make new kinds of games out of them we've got some other students that are planning to use walkman radios to you know as their input device to um, tune into transmissions um, my team uh, which is a mix of students uh, uh, industry and, and myself lecturer um, we're making a tent <laughs> so we're making an actual structure that we're gonna have three players sit in and we're gonna project onto the tent and they're gonna have to play the game by uh, wiggling from left to right, which is a bit of a theme with us because uh, this time last year we made another game that was all about wiggling left to right called Ola de la Vida. Um, so it's really exciting because it's an opportunity for staff, students, um, industry members and our graduates all to come together and to celebrate computer games.